Hi everybody, it's Jennifer with Nourish Your Future. So tonight we're going to do a simple, quick, easy meal and we're going to try the Beyond Meat Beast Burger. This has gotten amazing reviews, I haven't tried it yet. I will say that I am not somebody that I eat fake meats very often. And it's not because I don't like them, it's because they're highly processed foods and I don't really I make highly processed foods a staple for my own diet. But from time to time it is nice to have a, a burger or some kind of, of soy chicken or something like that. So uh, tonight we're going to try the Beyond Meat Beast Burger. And looking just at the back of it, it seems like it's pretty, it has, offers some pretty good nutrition. I mean, it has 20% of your daily iron, 50% of your calcium, you know, 20% of your B12. Uh, it has, you know, 25% of your daily calories from fat. So it's a little bit high in the fat category, but it's not, I mean, 16 grams isn't totally off the chart. It certainly is a whole lot healthier than a regular burger. So what we're going to do is we're just going to put this in a skillet and cook it up. I'm not going to add any oil to it. They do recommend using some oil as you fry it up in the skillet, but we're just going to dry fry it. And then we're going to check back in with you guys and give you your, our review of the Beyond Meat Beast Burger. All right, we have grilled up our Beyond Meat Burgers. You can see there we cooked them for about a total of seven minutes. I used this green pan, non-stick ceramic pan, so it didn't require me using any oil. And actually, it cooked just fine. You can see it did not stick at all, even though I didn't use any oil, because I am using... Uh, it, this is a non-stick pan, but it's not the non-stick with Teflon. So, we're going to eat our burgers on top of Dave's Killer Bread. Let me unwrap this so you can see exactly what this is. I didn't really like too many of the hup, the um, hamburger buns that I saw at the grocery store because they're really full of a bunch of chemicals and processed stuff and everything like that. So I decided that we'll just eat it on Dave's Killer Bread. This is a really good bread. If you haven't tried it, you might want to check it out. So we're going to eat it on top of the bread along with some lettuce and tomato and a little bit of organic ketchup. So I'm going to make mine up first. So I like a lot of ketchup, I'm kind of a ketchup fan, so I'm going to add a decent amount of ketchup. And then I'm going to throw my burger right on top of the ketchup. Very good. If you can hear, my dog Emma is drinking some water out of her water bowl. The camera shoot on down to her. <laughs> She says water is good, life is good, that's what our bowl says. Then I'm going to take some tomato and top off my burger with a little tomato. I've got a little romaine lettuce, I'm going to put that on top too. And then go ahead and add the rest of my bread. And then I'm going to just cut this down in half. And there you can see the inside of my burger looks good all right everybody so we have our taster here to try out our beyond beef burger this is mike young from a plant-based diet he's going to take a bite and tell us what he thinks and try not to burn yourself on the stove as you're taking a bite <laughs> how is the taste it's pretty authentic yeah Taste what you're like what you remember a burger tasting like? Probably better because it doesn't taste all greasy. Yeah. I like it. Cool. Yay, Beyond yeah. Beef Beast Burger. And lots of ketchup like you like it too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cool. So you heard it here, guys. The Beyond Meat Be Beast Burger is good.